Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson joins us now exclusively from Philadelphia. Mr. Johnson, first of all, thank you very much for wanting to come on and, and, and speak with us this morning about something that a lot of people saw and are scratching their heads. And I know that you have said that you want to have a, a more of an investigation. So is there anything more that you know this morning about how and why this happened? Uh, well, good morning, Robin. You know, first of all, I'll say the circumstances surrounding uh, the incident and the outcome in our store on Thursday were reprehensible. They were wrong. And for that, I personally apologize to the two gentlemen that visited our store. Now certainly, uh, you know, it's my responsibility to, to understand what happened and what led to that and ensure that we fix it. Has anybody asked the store manager why did they do this? I mean, we were talking amongst ourselves, people, you see them in Starbucks all the time conducting business meetings. They're not um, buying any products. And even when we saw in the piece when the woman said that she had been there too, has anybody asked her why these particular men, did she feel compelled to call the police? Well, Robin, certainly with 28,000 stores around the world, uh, different regions put in some slightly different guidelines in how they handle certain situations. In sort of reviewing this case, the guidelines that they had in place indicated uh, a certain set of scenarios in which the police were to be called. Now, there are some scenarios where the police should be called. If there's uh, uh, threats or disturbance, uh, those may be appropriate times. In this case, none of that occurred. It was completely inappropriate to engage the police. And so clearly there's an opportunity for us to provide clarity. And in addition to that, I'd say there's training, more training that we're going to do with our store managers, not only around the guidelines, but training around unconscious bias. What happened to those two gentlemen was wrong. Because you said in your statement, and I quote here, that Starbucks stands firmly against racial profiling. So you believe that was the case here? Well, Robin, Starbucks was built as a company that creates a warm, welcoming environment for all customers. That didn't happen in this case. That I know. And so it's my responsibility to ensure that we review everything. We review the actions of the store manager, we review the, 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 the guidelines that were provided, and we review and invest in the training necessary to ensure that doesn't happen again. People are and that's what we will hold ourselves accountable Excuse, to. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, people are wondering, will any disciplinary action be taken against the employee? Well, while I know it's easy for me to say and point blame to one person in this incident, you know, my responsibility is to look not only to that individual, but look more broadly at the, the circumstances that set that up, just to ensure that this never happens again. So those reviews are, are, are conducting uh, as we speak, and I've been very focused on understanding what guidelines and what training ever let this happen. Uh, what happened was wrong and we will fix it. The two gentlemen who were arrested um, have yet to speak publicly about this, but you have made it clear that you really want to have a face-to-face -to -face to, with them to apologize. What exactly do you want to say to them, sir? Well, Robin, first of all, you know, I reached out and we made contact with the representative of the two gentlemen. And I'm hopeful that while I'm here in Philadelphia, I'll have a chance to meet with them face-to-face. -face. First, I'd like to apologize to them in person. And I'd like to have a dialogue with them so that I can ensure that, uh, that we have the opportunity to really understand the situation and uh, show some compassion and empathy for the, ex the experience they went through. And finally, you know, as we're working to solve this, I'd like to invite them to join me in finding a constructive way to solve this issue. Good to hear that. Make it a teachable moment. Kevin Johnson, thank you very much for your time this morning, for your remarks. We appreciate it very much, sir. Take care. Thank you.